did. The candidates fielded questions on a wide range of topics and largely turned their attention to voters at home rather than aiming their fire at each other. Now, this was the second and last of two televised debates, an important opportunity to make an impression on those they want to lead come 2024. I am dead set on building a county for us all. This is about crime, this is about taxes, and this is about jobs, and it's about leadership. Republican Joe Rocky and Democrat Sarah Inamorato squaring off Tuesday night, remaining quite civil while discussing heated issues like public safety and gun legislation. The first thing I will do as county executive is pass a process that allows anyone to drop a gun at any of our county police locations and to do the gun buyback program 365 days a year. In Amarado, leaning on her experience as a former state rep, advocating for gun control. And these were things like universal background checks and extreme risk protection orders, things that are in line with the majority of people, including responsible gun owners. And so I will continue to use the bully pulpit of the county exec's office to go to Harrisburg and advocate for these regulations. Both candidates also pushing for change at the Allegheny County Jail, which has been beleaguered by staffing issues. So staffing and the lack of adequate staffing has led to the deaths of more than 20 people who recently were in the Allegheny County Jail. When we are selecting the new warden, we will have a process that will involve community members so that we are ensuring that we are selecting a warden that can rebuild the trust that has been broken. The morale for not only the corrections officers, but also the health care workers at the jail is at an all time low. And I suspect the morale for the rest of the employees at the jail is there too. We will begin with a full assessment of every aspect of the county jail. And then there was the reopening of the Schumann Juvenile Detention Center. Both candidates say they want to see a publicly run facility. A contract with the private entity Adelphoi has prompted county council to sue the courts and county executive, claiming they undercut council's authority. We asked the candidates if they support such a lawsuit. If county council's within their right to do that, um, because they typically see contracts and have to vote on contracts that involve county-owned property, then I think that's within their right of, of doing that. At this point, because I'm not in the middle of the details, it's hard for me to answer. And it's also touched on racial disparities in the healthcare field, attracting jobs to the county, and housing. Remember, the last day to register to vote before the November election is October 23rd, and October 31st is the last day to apply for a mail-in or absentee ballot. Mike, back to you.